Hey everyone, it's your girl, Kelsey's Claws, and welcome back to my channel. I am loving the acrylic ring trend that's going around, so I wanted to try to recreate this gorgeous Sleeping Beauty engagement ring, but made entirely out of nail products. Start by removing your form, and you want to roll it in your hands so that it creates a round shape, and then you want to seal the edges. I will be using my Glitter Bells Snowdrops White, which is white acrylic, and you want to lay down the beads and guide them with your brush to create a ring shape around the form. I thought this may be helpful because the ring started to break as the form wouldn't stay together. So as it was getting formed but not fully cured, I ran my brush underneath it to loosen it and quickly put it on backing paper. And then I pushed the two ends together and sealed it with the white acrylic. Then I just worked with dryer beads around to build up the circumference. Wait until it has cured or hardened and then you can start filing it into shape. I started with the flat sides with my hand file and then I used my e-file to refine the inner circumference if it needed to be, which mine did. So then I found using an e-file on a medium speed and constantly moving the ring around in your hand helped to remove the bulk and not file into the acrylic. So then I went in and refined with my hand file and I kept filing until it was smooth. This ring had carved sides, so I flattened a small section on each side to match the picture. Keep refining your filing until you're happy with how smooth or how the shape is or if you're trying to match a picture. Lay down a few beads on backing paper to create a pyramid shape and keep pressing and patting it to build up that shape upwards. So then you want to attach this on top of the ring and then blend it in with more white acrylic. Take a finer bit to refine those flattened sides and to carve the shape of Princess Aurora's tiara, which I noticed was carved into the top portion of the ring. Pierce into the flattened areas and gently carve an upside down teardrop and repeat for the other side. Using a cone shaped bit, I refined the surface of the tiara portion of the top and also those defined areas to really make them blend with the rest of the ring. On backing paper, lay down medium beads and press them out when they start to go matte. The original design looks almost floral, but I wanted to take inspiration from her crown. So you're going to use the brush to poke the acrylic into shape and you're going to refine the cuts with a cutter. See, doesn't it look like her crown? It's so cool. Use your e-file and your hand file to refine the shape. Add a bead of acrylic on each of the four corners. This will give it more of that floral look, but will also have that unique crown shape that we created earlier. Create an oval on backing paper. You will use this later. I extended the spikes just a little bit more. Refine your oval shape. Using Glitter Bell's No Wipe Top Coat and Social Claw's 24 Karat Gold Chrome, I gilded all my pieces to make it look like real metal. So you want to hold each piece with tweezers and use a brush to apply your top coat on all the sides. Then you want to rub the chrome in. I personally like to use my gloved finger because the heat from your finger transfers and helps to burnish in that chrome. Using liquid gold from Glitter Bells, create four little beads and press your Swarovski crystal into it. This will be used as your stone setting. I use that color stone because I feel it matches her dress really well and it really looks like a Sleeping Beauty ring. Gild the rest of your pieces and make sure to cover all the chrome with your top coat. This will seal it and prevent it from chipping. Where you hold your pieces with your tweezers, make sure it's a tiny area that can be covered up. Attach the ring to the crown part with glue and seal it with clear acrylic for added strength. Then create two little rectangles with gold acrylic and attach them from the crown part 
to the ring. I found that glue worked better than acrylic here. So then lay four more small beads to attach your oval and crystal. You want a slight gap to give it that added elevation. Now it's time to bling it up. I used all Swarovski crystals in the color crystal for this section. You can use my code Kelsey for Blue Streak Crystals to save 5%. The link will be listed below. So I attached all my crystals with Glitter Bell's base glue for that added hold. I find that this glue does not have stones move at all. Oh my gosh, and there it is. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love it. Please tag me in any recreation. I would love to see it. And let me know in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Does it look like that gorgeous Morganite diamond engagement ring? And would you like me to do another recreation? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. And until next time, bye.